Well, five Norfolk stations are battling more than fires tonight. They are fighting off bed bugs. The infestations seem to be spreading across the city. Ten of your sides, Ann McNamara is here to tell us how it's affecting life in those firehouses. Ann? We are live at Station 1 on Monticello Avenue tonight. This and the Station 13 in Ocean View, those were the two stations where live bed bugs were found. After that original discovery, inspectors went back, checked all the stations, and realized the problem was more widespread than they originally thought. It's a problem that we definitely don't want, but it's one, you know, that's probably nationwide. A pest problem prompted some Norfolk fire stations to put furniture out on the curb. Evidence of bed bugs found in five different locations, one of them Station 6 on Collie Avenue. We did have two stations that we lo actively located some bed bugs in. Um, we did, went back and did some reinspections, and we did find um, what I would call some remnants of them being in uh, uh, three more stations, so it was a total of five. The harmless bugs don't go away easily. The fire department is working with its pest control vendor to treat the areas with high heat. But first, they had to bag up their gear. As far as with your uh, clothing and gear, anything that was in the area of that, we have bagged that up. Uh, that's something that, you know, we can evaluate. We can probably, you know, maybe wash that and uh, place in the dryer. The whole process inconvenienced the department, but Battalion Chief Julian Williamson says Norfolk will do what it needs to do to keep both members and the public safe. We're safe, you know, we're taking care of our members, and we're going to continue to, you know, come out and serve you when you call. Many of you have been asking, where did the bed bugs come from? Which station was the original station with the bed bugs? We're told it's very difficult to pinpoint the source, especially when you consider the fact that the fire department all across the city responds to more than 40,000 calls every year. Live in Norfolk, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.